It's Monday, January 24th, 2022. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. At a rare Friday evening session, the Covenant School Board decided to make mask wearing by students and staff optional, thereby abiding Governor Yunkin's recently announced executive order. The vote was four to one, with board member Marie Fitzpatrick casting the lone no vote. The Yunkin administration is facing many lawsuits from various school districts which are claiming to have jurisdiction over the matter. Several Covington area residents expressed their opinions on masking policy last Friday as well. Stephanie Clark, school nurse Sally Wolf, teacher Cindy Knoll, and teacher Julie Meadows via letter. The Allegheny County School Division has not yet released its position on the school masking issue, but that decision is expected to come relatively soon. Last week, the school board was told that staff was still analyzing VDH guidance and more. And now a word from our sponsor. Let's change lanes a bit here to some sports. The DSLCC Roadrunners lost a pair of contests to Oxford at Emory College over the weekend, but there was still a lot of hustle shown. Two more home games remain on February the 4th and February the 15th. The historic Masonic Theater announced that international quilter Ricky Timms will present a master class retreat there on February the 17th. And then on the 19th, he'll perform in concert at the historic Masonic Theater stage. Tickets are available right now at historicmasonictheater.com. Both Delegate Terry Austin and State Senator Creed Deeds reported on the second week of the Virginia General Assembly. Read both accounts right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And we'll be right back. a car loan with a little get up and go our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you jackson river community credit union we belong to you online at jacksonrivcomcu.org we're federally insured by ncua or an equal housing lender And now for local obituaries. Frank Vance Jr., 83 of Lewisburg, died Friday. Clifton Wolfrey IV, 42 of Glasgow, died Thursday. Carl Hamilton, 86 of Buena Vista, died Friday. Donna Sims, 67, formerly of White Sulphur Springs, died Thursday. Catherine Lindsay, 58 of Bath County, died Thursday. Bertha Robertson, 64 of Warm Springs, died Saturday. Gilbert Smith Sr., 94 of Covington, died Saturday. Richard King, 81, formerly of Covington, died Thursday. Stephen Whitmer, 67 of Clifton Forge, passed away on Monday. Philip Fridley, 72 of Eagle Rock, died Friday. Brenda Legg, 65 of Frankfurt, passed away on Saturday. Nida Wills, 73, formerly of Clifton Forge, died Saturday. And Shelley Hodgen, 56, formerly of Clifton Forge, died Tuesday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com.
www.ghostbusters.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly cloudy, high of 43 and a low of 17. On Wednesday, mostly sunny, high of 30 and a low of 9. And on Thursday, mostly sunny, high of 35 and a low of 16 degrees. But there's plenty of good news because there's only 54 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Monday, January 24, 2022. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24 7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.